At the Rural Futures Conference in Lincoln this week, we talked with Tom Field. Tom is the chair of the Angler Agribusiness Entrepreneurship Program. The program started in 2010 with a $20 million gift from the Paul F. and Virginia J. Angler Foundation to the University of Nebraska. The donation provides student scholarships and program support for student courses, internship placement assistance, and more. Tom was the executive director for producer education for the National Cattlemen's Beef Association before coming to the state. Well, it's very exciting to be in Nebraska. It's exciting because this is a state that has its eye on the future. Uh, and the opportunity to work with students at the University of Nebraska has been particularly uh, uh, wonderful because I've found a tremendously uh, visionary and, and very mature group of students to work with. Our program's all designed around trying to figure out ways to facilitate and mentor people so that they can create opportunities for others and so they can build communities. Uh, and, and the chance to be part of that is, is really fantastic and, and in reality what, what we're really about is can we support creative failure, learn from those failures and build the future on the back of that. Give me an example of something that the students are working on or they, that they have worked on in the past. Well, we have two graduates of our program, our first two graduates, and, and both of them doing really interesting sorts of things. Uh, um, uh, one of our students, uh, Chase Hollebeck, is actually working on taking drone technology, a military technology, and adapting it to field surveillance uh, to really look at crop health and, and crop vitality. I think that's a really creative approach to, to a high-tech problem, to, a, to an age-old solution, is how do we actually in, improve the precision uh, work that we do in agriculture. And then Ashley Noonenkamp, who has taken a byproduct of a uh, pumpkin processing uh, approach and taken product that's not fit for human consumption, uh, turn it into a new formulation and creating a, a, a sort of all-natural dog treat that sells at sort of an unbelievable margins. In a, and so it's proof that you can take a byproduct that other people would have seen as something maybe you threw away and she saw a way to turn it into something of really high value, high margin. The clamor that you hear behind us or that the viewer may hear behind us is that of the Rural Futures Conference here in Lincoln. In the scope of that, what impact can the students in your program have on rural Nebraska? Well, I absolutely believe that, that this generation will uh, make or break this nation. Uh, uh, the greatest generation, I, I think we've all heard about that, that generation that, that freed us from tyranny in World War II, but I think this is the next great generation and it's a chance to take great ideas, uh, young people who are unencumbered by, by place in terms of uh, their comfort zone, people who understand uh, that, that the world is a big place and that they have a role in it, uh, and who are, by virtue of their social networking, really unencumbered by who their network is. Uh, take those sort of characteristics, put them uh, with the age-old belief that, that we can create a better future, and I think we're gonna see some really amazing things happen. And what I'm excited about is, is that we'll, we'll not only uh, reinvigorate, but I think reinvent uh, not only rural Nebraska, but, but life in rural places all across the globe. 